Hello one and all and welcome back to You've Never Played Pokemon Emerald Version with Nuzlocke Rules and Randomizer with me Techno Bambino. Hello. This is part 18. And these are the Pokemon I have if you're new to this. T just to let you know, last episode Boromir unfortunately died and I but he also caught a Balrog in episode 16 I believe. And I've just been levelling him up from level 15 to 21. So it's my Magmar called Balrog, just to show you the moves he has, he has Fire Punch, Smog, Ember and Leer. So pretty pretty damn good moves to be fair, I'm so glad he's got Fire Punch, I think that's fantastic. Okay, so these are the levels of my Pokemon, I'm just going to continue now, and I have no idea what's in this town, I've hardly ever been here, so I'm going to quickly nip into the Mart and see whether there's anything I can buy. Uh, great Balls, how many Great Balls do I have? 15, plenty. Super Potions, 15, I think I did do this actually. Did I do this? I must have done that. What a waste of time. Excellent, cool. Alright, let's keep going. Let's check out these houses. Let's see what's inside these, shall we? What's this got? Got to say. Have already challenged Flannery, the leader of Lavager's gym? Oh, no, I haven't. Hmm. That's my next gym, who's a uh, flying type, I believe. I she's a flying type? The gym is a flying gym. Uh, Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. Ooh. Hello, let's go do that then. <gasps> What's this woman want? See, take a look at my precious Azuril. It's thick and smooth and plushy too. Yeah, sure. Something's happening, I don't like it. I've seen shady characters wandering wandering in and out of Professor Cosmo's home. Oh no, let's find out. Ah, oh, the move tutor. Um, he'll need heart scales, which I don't have, and I don't think there's any moves I want to change anyway, so... Fossil Maniac's house. Fossil's gratefully accepted. Okay, cool, let's do this shit. My big brother, the Fossil Maniac, he's a nice... My big brother's the Fossil Maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. Really? Called a Fossil Maniac. He loves digging holes, too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this. So you can dig holes, just like my big brother. Nice. So, I've got TM28, which is dig. And I like dig as a move, but I don't know if I'm going to teach it to any of my Pokemon. It's going to quickly see who can actually learn it. Probably... I'm guessing it'll be... Where is it? I'm guessing it'll be... Uh, Gandalf and Mr. Frodo probably will, because they're ground types. Gandalf and Mr. Frodo. Pippin can learn dig! Weird. Oh, wait, Aragorn. Um, because he has, hasn't got particularly good moves at the moment. Um, no, I'm still gonna wait. I st I still leave. It, I think. Well, Dig's really good for um. Oh, bollocks, hang on. Dig's really good for Nuzlocke runs because if you're like really struggling, um. Oh, hang on. Should a move be deleted and replaced with Dig? No. Stop trying to learn Dig. Yes. Cool. Christ, I hate that. It's so frustrating. Um. Yeah, digs digs really good if you're doing a Nuzlocke run because if you're in a cave or somewhere and you really need to get out, you can do. What's this? Is he at the end of here? He is indeed. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. <laughs> if you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in a desert where there are boulders and sand. They may hide fossils. Oh, nice. So I'm guessing I'm going to get a fossil soon. I have to come back to him. There goes my frame rate again. Again, I don't know what's going on with my frame rate of this this run. It just keeps failing. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so let's do some battling, shall we? Okay, welcome back, guys. Sorry about that before. Um, I was having problems with my computer again. I have no idea why. I think I fixed it, though, now. I just reinstall Fraps. I believe Fraps was the issue. We'll soon find out anyway when we keep going. Anyway, let's challenge this trainer. Oh, hi, it's Maria. If you wanted to improve endurance, high altitude training it is. Try running on a mountaintop. You'll be gasping in no time. I'm getting oxygen starved too. See you. Cool. So it's a sailor, so I'm guessing he's got what a magic arb, tentacle, uh barboach, and what is what his other one be? Oh, there you go, barboach, see? Knew it. Bound to happen. Go on, Aragorn, you can do this, you've got absorb, so that should be alright. Still think it's really weird that a rock water type knows absorb. Just just strange. Strange to me. But it's pretty effective against him, which is pretty good. Always good. If you can hear sirens in the background, I do apologise. I live in a very sireny area. That's the only time I've ever seen mud sport be actually effective because it weakens electricity. So for Barboach, that's actually really handy. But normally, like Geodude has it, and it's pretty fucking pointless. Literally, no point in getting it. That's better. Fisherman Dolan. Excellent. Cool. Let's keep going then. What's this guy want? Oh, my Pokemon knows his roar. Oh, okay, cool. That's fine. 
I got TM5, which is always raw in every game, as far as I can remember. Brilliant. Uh, what's next? Oh, is this is a double battle. Might be. Who, who shall I use for my double battle? I'm going to use Pippin and Gandalf. Whoop. Here we go. I landed a big one, a huge one, I tell you. Me, I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. A little bit too much information there. Fisherman Kai and Picnic Charlotte. Wants to battle, send out Barboach and Nuzleaf. Excellent. Um, right, I think... Oh, I've chosen a pretty good Pokemon for that, then. That's not too bad. Although, grass is strong against ground, but I don't think that'll matter too much. Um, let's do Leech Life on him. And... Headbutt on Nuzleaf as well. Why not? So I was a bit slow there, trying to decide my moves. There you go, Leech Life absolutely annihilates him because it's a bug type move against a grass type. Nuzleaf don't stand a chance. Ah, oh, Water Sport. Noise. Firepower was weakened. Again, that's the Mud Sport equivalent for a Water type, as in absolutely pointless. Never mind. Oh, excellent. That wasn't cute in the lead. It in the. I can't talk. Ten of B received. One thousand dollars. Excellent. You want to say anything? No. What's this? Energy powder. Oh, what's that? Let's have to check out what that is. Do, 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 do. Energy powder, energy powder. Oh, there it is. No, that's powder jar. Energy powder. A bit of powder that restores HP by 50 points. Eh, that's not too bad. Oh, let's shove Super Potion right at the top, look. It's probably the one we'll need more than anything, so... Excellent. Let's keep going. What's down here? Oh, challenge of the trainer, which... I, keep, I always do that. I always assume that it's on Pokemon. Uh, yeah, keep them out. This is a good... Good, uh, good list. What do you want? I wonder if this guy's going to have a Barboach as well, probably. I think Barboach is like the Magikarp of fucking Emerald and that. And it's a Magikarp, of course. Brilliant. Excellent, let's just use Cut. Why not? Here. Oh, come on, Pippin, learn a few more moves. If not, I might have to change him when I get another Pokemon. Although I do really like him, it's just... He's just not learning anything. If, if he doesn't learn anything by, like, level 24, I'll probably change him out, I think. Level 22, here we go. He didn't learn anything, cool. No prob. Goldeen, yes, so let's change. Uh, it's a water type, so... Aragorn, it's a water rock, and there's Absorb, so that'd be really handy. Come on, Goldeen. As I mentioned this before, Goldeen looks so fucking evil. That isn't one evil goldfish. It's not even a goldfish. What is it? Is it a goldfish? It doesn't look like a goldfish. It's not even golden. Why is it, why, why should, why is it called Goldeen? That makes no sense. Never mind. Horn attack. Horn attack's not a bad move, actually. Although, against a rock type, it does fuck all. <laughs> Done. Oh, no. Well, at least my energy's back to normal. Water sport that's coming out of the, her back for some odd reason. That is one thing I hope they do in the in what Pokemon X and Y when it's released with like the actual moves. It looks like it's going very almost Pokemon Stadium esque with its animation and that, which would be really handy um, because you can actually do proper moves and actually look like they're doing them rather than I never thought that was what was it? Barbosh oh, doesn't matter. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's hope that happens because I'd like that. Like, there's the one thing about this I sort of find frustrating sometimes. It's just like, well. We, can you not just tell it to go out of a certain place on the sprite? It would make a bit more sense. Yeah. Like, I remember, uh, who was it? It was it was in one of them. I think it was, um, uh, was it Heart Gold? When you have a, there was, you, you face a mill tank anyway, and he doesn't move. It looks like it's coming out of his crotch, and it's so funny every time I see it. Because um, it's just redonkulous in every possible way. All right, let's switch Gandalf up front. Go on, Gandalf. Oh, let's do this. I wonder what's in that house. Let's see if I find out, I guess. Another picnicker. Picnicker Nancy. Picnicker Nancy. He's got a Meryl. Oh, little Meryl. Look at him. Punch him in the face. It's punching. Never mind. Uh, Mud Slap shouldn't do too much. Headbutt. Metal Claw should, shouldn't be too bad, though. I really like Gandalf's moves. I know I keep mentioning it, but I just really like his moves. I think they're really good. 
Wait, it's ground? Good against? I'll soon find out anyway. Hang on one second. One slap. Hit. Nothing, see? But it reduces accuracy at least, so this might not hit this next attack. And it missed, see? Yeah, excellent. Headbutt should do enough though. That should probably finish him off actually. Oh no, almost, almost. Ah. Cool. Um, what's that will do then, I guess? It's because it just only needs one hit point, doesn't it? And ding! Can I go to level 22? I didn't learn anything, of course not, but I don't mind. Lombre, yes, I'll bring out the Power Rock. It's the first time you've seen him, guys. Here he is. Yes, come on, Balrog. That's a perfect name for him. Lombre. And he knows Fire Punch, which is just awesome. Pit. There you go, see? And it burnt him, which means that might actually kill him. After he's done this move, I might not have to do another move. Let's have a look. Come on. Yep, there we go, see? Oh, got a decent amount of experience for that as well. Fuck off, Picnic and Nancy. Okay. Um, Gandalf's still up front, so let's switch Aragorn to there. Always trying to make them as evil, even levels as possible. Um, I can't get through there, can I? No. What's that way? Let's have a look. Oh, it's clearly going to be an item here. There it is, it's a revive. Or oh, I might have to go to that tree. Um, oh no, that'll be uh, one of those sanctuary places. Whoa, how the hell do I get up there? I must have to get to it later on. Oh, there's a new grassy area. Ooh. Right, so what, what route is this? Let's have a look. Is this, an, is this technically a new route? So, Farber Town. Route 114. Let's have a quick look at the map. I don't want to break the rules. 114. Have I got one here yet? No, I got. Um, did I get any at 115? I can't remember. No, I didn't, did I? This is fine then. That's good. That's the problem with these sort of runs. Come on, let's do this. Do you know what? I might heal up full quick first. Oh, no, there's no point, is there? Okay. Let's do this shit! Who's it gonna be? It's a Sea King! Fuck yeah! Sea King! Who's a female? Makes no sense. Okay. Well, I may as well try and catch it anyway. Um, okay, what should I use? Rock smash again, won't do too much, so let's. Yeah, that'll do. I'll just keep using that. I may as well catch him anyway, and I can stick him in the. Um, stick him in the PC for later in case of. Well, in case another water type, say Grima fa faints or something, I'll have another water type to use, so. Oh, it's fucking seeking, yes! Oh, fuck yeah, as it says. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna do another move like last time. Um, I'm just gonna try and catch it this time. Oh! Again, Ugh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Let's try a great ball. Come on, Seeking. I think this might escape, actually. Yeah, it will, because it's a second evolution. I might have to f put, like, Ember on it or something. Just a move that will, um, just get it, get it down just a little bit. Come on. And it was caught. <laughs> okay. Now, because it's Sea King... I am going to call him. Yes, I will call him. Okay, he's Sea King. Um, it's not really sea related in. Oh, actually. Uh, no, I'm not. I don't want to call it that. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, I know. I'm going to call him. Uh, it's sort of a. Um, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to call him Denethor anyway, mainly because he's the steward. Is it Denethor or Denathor? Hang on a sec, let me find out. Yes, yeah, Denethor. Not too bad, right. Denethor. Because he's a steward, he, um, he's pretty much the king. Well, he's trying to be king anyway. So, Denethor's quite quite a suitable name. And he looks not we didn't like him at all, but you know what I mean. Denethor's a quite a good name for that, so. Excellent. So we've got another member. Is brilliant, but I'm not going to use him just yet. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Mr. Frodo, you can go second. I wonder when Mr. Frodo's going to evolve. It'll be a while yet, I think. Let's try this double battle then. Let me teach you a little bit about Pokemon. Will you now? 
Come on, let's do this shit. Senior and Junior, Tyra and Ivy. Oh god, what a mouthful that was. So it's a Graveler. Oh, great. This is not a good team against them, um, especially for Kabutops anyway. Then I'm going to switch Kabutops out. Uh, okay, it's Rosalia and that, so... I'm going to send out Balrog. Um, yeah, secret, secret, um, secret power, why not? Go Balrog! Heh. Oh, but it's a normal move, isn't it? Oh, bollocks. At least it paralysed him. Stun Spore. No, nope, not good at all. Never mind. So, we'll just, just all of them just paralyse constantly. He could have given it to Frodo, though, to be fair, but he has his shed skin, so it wouldn't have made much difference, to be fair. Um, let's get rid of Rosalia anyway. Uh, Mr. Frodo, you can use. Bikes aren't going to do much either. Um, I'm just going to keep reducing his defence. Because I don't think Gravel will do too much damage anyway. Fight punch, boom! That might actually one shot her. Actually, let's find out. Yeah, it did indeed. Did they get any? Did they have any other Pokemon? I can't quite remember. Oh, Aragorn, with level twenty-two, going to move. No, of course didn't. Yeah, he's paralysed. Right now, I can switch him back out. So let's put Grima out, and let's put out Aragorn. Because he's also a water type, but he also knows absorb, which is strong against rock types. So, this would be the perfect two for these. This is a little Raptor Scallion right now. That's quite a good um, sprite for Graveler. I'm quite impressed with it. I think I mentioned that last time actually as well. Water Pulse and absorb. Right, there's no way he's going to survive this at all. At all, indeedy. Yeah. You just wait. Unless it. Water Pulse. That's good. It should be dead now. I was going to say. Gravely, you self destruct it's like, Oh, f again, that would have been ridiculous. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go heal up. I'll see you in a sec. And I'm back. Okay, the only one that's left that's not level 22 is Balrog and Mr. Frodo, so I'm gonna stick them up front. Uh, and I need to sort of get by them to talk to that person. So I'm going to get off my bike so it doesn't go in the grass as often. Oh, I've still got a wild encounter. So let's see what's in here. Oh, nice! It's a Yanma. Yanma's not bad. I don't mind Yanma. It's quite a cool looking Pokemon. But I've got the perfect Pokemon to face him. Fire Punch. It's a bug type, so it should get absolutely annihilated by my Balrog. Balrog. Yeah, I love Balrog. I can't believe I've got Balrog. I'm so, so, so pleased. I'm loving using Berry Crisp Machine. I'm so collecting berries. I'll share them with you if you like. Oh, a Nab Nab Berry, which is a banana berry, I believe, or very similar to a banana berry anyway. Okay, let's go in here. I believe this will be a berry woman, then I'm guessing. Oh, Techno B, I'm sorry everything is so cluttered. When I get engrossed in research, things may end up this way. This is embarrassing. Please keep this a secret exchange. Oh, a low tad doll. What? What's that for? I'm offering you advice to Pokemon Story System. You should organise your boxes so you can tell which Pokemon are in them. Okay, thanks for that. Oh, there's a little book over here. What do the books got to say? Now let's research notes. It's information about boxes. Oh, no, I'm fine, thank you. I don't need to know any. Oh, is that a computer I can use? Oh. Um, oh, is this going to be Bill, I'm guessing? Yeah, there we go. It's from Bill. Good old Bill. Good old Billy Billy No Mates. It's fucking brilliant. I'm guessing I'm going to get that later once I've got Surf. Okay, let's keep going south. So, Balrog's at front, if I remember correctly. Let's challenge this trainer here, who looks like a camper, is it? Yep. Yeah. Little camper boy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, Camper Shane. Sandshrew, and I've got the worst Pokemon against that. Brilliant. But it's going to level up anyway, so I was going to switch out to Grima. Grima should be okay with this. It's a water type. Go, Sanshri. Look at him. Defense curl right around his little face. Oh, that's really cute. So cute, I'm going to blast him with a fucking pulse of water. Here. There you go, Sanshri. Excellent. 
So yeah, Pokemon X and Y, I'm going to enjoy it, I think. Oh, the only move now. Yeah, yeah, X and Y should be pretty good. Um, I like the fact that the legendaries are X and Y as well, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Nuzleaf was that. Uh, switch back to Balrog. Oh no. Um, Nuzleaf, yeah, Balrog. Yeah, which just still think it's pretty cool. And the fact they've got like a land legendary and a flying legendary, I think that's pretty cool. And I don't know, well... The main thing is probably going to be the fact that the third game in the series will be Pokemon Z, and I'm trying to think of what Pokemon is in the shape of a Z. Uh, just, it just will look stupid, whatever it is. Um, like it should be dancing or something like an Egyptian. Yeah, never mind. There goes Camper. Right, this is the same area, so I'm try and break that. There we go. Try and break this. Rock using Rock Smash. Come on, Kabutops. Pant. Oh, I got into a battle, but it's in the same area, so I can't catch whatever this is. And it's an Azumarill. Nice. Look at him dancing. Ah, Azumarill. Level 8. Not good. Oh, that's a pretty pointless battle, so I'm just going to run away. There's no point. And what's this? I found a protein. Nice. Oh. Um. What's here, then? Nothing? That's really peculiar. Does anyone else not find everyone else find that slightly peculiar? Oh I'm gonna challenge him. Oh no, that's that other guy, isn't it? Is that the other guy from before? It looks like him anyway. I stick Mr. Oh. Yes, he's Mr. Frodo. Because he's the only one that's level 21. Ah, oh, another battle! It's a chancy! Chancy! I wonder if they're going to make them actually speak the names again. I know we always, everyone always mentions this in pretty much every single. Um, oh, hello! Look at that. I know everyone will mention this in pretty much every single like generation, but maybe just this once they'll make it so they actually speak. I know. I know the main reason is because sound, the, the sound in games is takes up quite a lot of space, so it's. I well, know it's kind of a waste of space really because it's not complete hunter necessary, but I think it'd be really good if they could anyway. There we go. You want, to, want to battle against my Pokemon? Yes, I do. Thank you. He's a Pokemaniac. He looks nothing like a sprite. And he sent out Aaron, who's a steel type, so Mr. Frodo will do appallingly. Brilliant. So let's switch him out to Balrog because he's a fire type. Go Balrock. Yeah, a demon of the ancient world. Fucking love Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna go see The Hobbit again soon. I saw it last month when it was released, and I'm thinking about going may maybe going seeing it tomorrow, which is actually when this video is gonna be uploaded. Yeah, I can't. It should be good. It should be good indeedy. Let's try him, but Ember might be enough actually just to kill him off. Oh no. Oh, the burn might though. Headbutt here. Yeah, that might do quite a bit. No, it did, did absolutely nothing. Another Ember, maybe? Yep, there we go. And there goes Aaron. Or Aaron? Is it Aaron or Aaron? Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Play a defeated Pokemaniac, Steve. Okay. Oh. Brilliant. Right, well, I think I'll do for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Not much has happened, really. I just got south of here, challenge three trainers. We just we discussed a few things anyway, so I'm going to go heal up and we'll continue going south into these rocky bits and see what, what's there. So thanks for tuning in, and I shall see you later. Bye.